On the client side, the default client server port number used by the SPLM license server variable needs to be updated to 29,000. This must be changed in the Windows environment variables. The NX licensing tool environment settings edit option cannot be used to define the port host name of the license server with the SLS. It will not override the SPLM license server environment variable. The SLS installer will create the Windows services for the Siemen license server and the Slim service if you've opted to install Slim. Troubleshooting. Attempting to run NX2212 using the legacy PLM license server will result in an error that the licensing version of the client is newer than that of the server. Attempting to install the PLM license server if the SLS is already installed results in an error message. The path to license file in LM tools points to the active licenses folder rather than to a license file. The active licenses folder can contain more than one license file. Changing location of the license file and or debug log via the LM tools may cause the service not to start. If you have manually edited file locations using LM tools, you may encounter a problem where the license service fails to start afterwards. It may be that LM tools has insufficient modification rights. You can try one of the following. Use the default locations that the Siemens license server installer uses. For the license files, use C, program data, Siemens, license server, active licenses. For the server debug file, use C, program data, Siemens, license server, and saltd.log as the name of the file. You can also specify a directory location that user equals local service can modify.